Alexander Shulga, Doctor of Sociology, Head of the Institute of Conflict Studies and Analysis of Russia, commented on the threat of blood revenge by Chechen leader Kadyrov against oligarch Kerimov and two other state Duma deputies over the shooting in the center of Moscow. Everyone is now watching how this conflict will develop and, in fact, who will emerge victorious. Will Putin use his traditional tactics, i.e. punish both? Because, as a rule, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, he used exactly these methods if something spilled out in such a not very beautiful public form. Now, in fact, the situation is that Kerimov seems to have enlisted Putin's support and seems to have had all the powers, let's say, from the presidential administration to take over this huge Wildberries company. However, as you and I know, Kadyrov appeared, and then there was an armed confrontation a few hundred meters from the Kremlin. Of course, this was supposed to be the end of it because it was supposed to be the peak. But as we can see, Kadyrov escalated the situation and used the illegal mechanism of blood revenge. And you can always appeal. We have our traditional and cultural peculiarities. Please respect them, he said on Espresso TV. Alexander Shulga believes that this story is far from over. So I think this story is far from over. Everyone is now waiting to see what Kadyrov's next move will be because after his statement about blood revenge, the head of Dagestan, Melikov, recorded a video and posted it on social media about supporting Kerimov so the parties exchanged public statements. Well, now the ball is in Kadyrov's court. Let's see. So far, legally speaking, Kerimov is winning as the company is absorbed by his people. And accordingly, we can understand that the previous goal of this has been fulfilled and Kerimov has achieved everything he wanted. So now we are waiting for Kadyrov to make a move. The sociologist said, On September the 18th, a shooting took place in the center of Moscow near the office of the Wildberries online store, the Medusa newspaper reported. At the time, the husband of the marketplace's founder, Vladislav Bakalchuk, arrived at the office, according to him, for a business meeting. Bakalchuk was accompanied by security from the Ministry of Internal Affairs. At the same time, the company said that Vladislav Bakalchuk tried to illegally enter the office and his companions opened fire. Bakalchuk himself claimed that the shooting started from the office. Two security guards from the Ingushetia were killed in the shooting. Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov has threatened blood revenge against Russian State Duma deputies Suleiman Kerimov, Bekan Barakoyev and Rizvan Kurbanov following a shooting incident near the Wildberries office in Moscow. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov slammed Ukrainian President Zelensky's victory plan, calling it ephemeral. He said, instead, that it's a U.S. plan to fight us until the last Ukrainian, which Zelensky has camouflaged and presented as some ephemeral peace plan. Peskov also reiterated that a peace plan for Russia will only work if Ukraine understands the need to sober up. Zelensky was set to at least partially unveil a plan to win against Russia to his country's parliament after weeks of dropping hints about the blueprint to lukewarm Western allies, including U.S. President Joe Biden. Zelensky in the Verkhovna Rada stated that Western partners have practically approached the victory plan. Now, teams are focused on the details of effective support. Ukraine's partners, to whom this plan has already been presented, have approached it practically. They are paying attention. Teams are focused on the details for effective support. The teams have begun working, Zelensky said. He also confirmed that he would present the victory plan at tomorrow's European Council meeting. However, the president emphasized that he first needed to present it to the Verkhovna Rada. But I want to be honest about how certain non-public, diverse format communications with Ukraine accompany the situation. We hear from partners certain words like negotiations and, much less frequently, the word justice. Ukraine is open to diplomacy, but to honest diplomacy, Zelensky added. Notably, the victory plan has been shared with American leaders, including Joe Biden and presidential candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. The document was also presented to leaders in the UK, France, Italy, and Germany. Скорее всего, это тот же самый план американцев, 
э, воевать с нами до последнего украинца, который теперь Зеленский закамуфлировал и назвал мирным планом. Вот, по всей видимости, это так. Какого-то иного там плана нет. Там может быть иной план, который может быть действительно мирным. Это осознание киевским режимом без перспективности той политики, которую они проводят, и, э, скажем так, понимание необходимости э, протрезветь, протрезветь и осознать те причины, которые привели к э, вот этому конфликту вокруг Украины, который сейчас идет. One woman was killed and at least 16 people injured in a Russian overnight strike in the southern Mykolaiv region of Ukraine. Regional authorities on Tuesday said civilian infrastructure and residential buildings were damaged in the strike, which caused fires to break out. The attack also damaged vehicles, a restaurant complex and a shopping pavilion. The attack took place around 2.30 a.m. and was carried out with S-300 ballistic missiles, authorities added. The Air Force of Ukraine reported that Russia launched seven S-300 missiles at Mykolaiv and two KH-59 guided aerial missiles at northern regions of Ukraine.